welcome to Buduk One channel and uh, with this video I'm going to review a game between Miu Ting and Guzi Hao and this game was played today 19th May and the tournament was uh, 31st Chinese Ming Ren and I believe it is round 3. I took this SGF from... Uh, I copied uh, move by move uh, from FoxGo server. So um, I analyzed also this move uh, using Go review partner with elf weights and 60 seconds per move. So it took around three hours to wait because it is more than 200 moves. Okay, let's take a look. And also, um, if you are a done player, you might be not interested in uh, my review. So in the description below, you can. Um, you can take uh, RSGF file, complete review by ELF, uh, it is linked uh, from Eidogo. And uh, also some uh, reviews uh, from ELF and Go Review Partner I do in Russian language, but uh, it is same, in descriptions you may take uh, those files and uh, they are all one minute uh, per move uh, thinking, which is quite a lot and uh, okay so black was muting and white Guzi Hao and they're two my favorite players but in this game muting smashed Guzi Hao so let's see what happened opening is so far normal and actually I will review in uh, in a different program in this one but I want uh, to use my base since uh, I have some Fuseki base here for example if I will press this sign yes and then matching and now we can see that out of 100,000 games there are about 60 games played with this um, opening so far so maybe let's take a look what happened um, okay so AlphaGo and Kyoje played same then AlphaGo played this uh, popular move famous move, move I mean mm -hmm. So idea is to make Moyo on the right side and on the bottom. Now let's take a look. Uh, I believe it is Master against Guzi Hao. It was uh, Master Games on Taijum. So same idea, a little bit different um, because White pushed uh, to F4, not to G3. But same idea, black is building huge Moyo, now white is invading and black is attacking this invasion and building something else. Mm -hmm. And this also famous move, direct aggressive fight. Okay, what about Benzandar? Benzandar prefers to play Kakari and then... Aha. Uh -huh. And then double approach. Okay. Then here Benzandar decided to invade. Aha, uh -huh, and then complicated Joseki. Wow, this move I have never seen. So AlphaGo says that the best move here for black is to play here. Then this is Joseki from AlphaGo. And uh, as I heard from Yongsam, he told me if uh, Black doesn't have ladder, he cannot uh, connect here. Otherwise, uh, because of this ladder, let me show you if I remember correctly. If Black wants to capture, then Atari, then Atari, then throw in. And if Black will connect, then White may play here. And one, two, three. So, this ladder. If black doesn't have this ladder, we can see now that this ladder is working for white. So, he said that black cannot, that black cannot play this uh, connection at R13. But here we see that the Benzandar, it played a similar move, but at A, and then white extended. So, uh, actually, I've seen that uh, in, in this particular Joseki, I'm sorry, it is not related to our review, but I just want to share what I know about it. 
because I met a big lecture in Russian language about it. So here usually what I see by uh, strong programs um, and when I play with Elf, for example, at this point Elf doesn't connect. At this point Elf plays here if leather is bad for black. And then I think best thing for white is to extend once and when black will turn, then white will atari here. When black extends and white will extend many times. Because if, if white will just capture uh, without extending here, if white will extend here, for example, when atari and capture, then uh, black will connect and uh, white still needs to, to capture these stones. Otherwise, later, if white will tenuki now, uh, this connection will be sent against the corner. Okay, so <laughs> again, sorry for taking your time with this, but uh, I just wanted to share. So I think uh, this opening is uh, pretty much standard. So let's go back to the game. I will disable this option now and then, okay. So uh, pretty much same as uh, Benzendar likes to play approach and then um, Shimari so okay here we see that uh, black is building a big moyo on the right side and next move was surprising for me this move I have never seen so let's take a look if it no it shows only one meaning that it, it is played only in this game but maybe uh, locally bottom right corner uh, maybe it was played already. Oh, unexpected. It it actually was played by AlphaGo. This this game a move. Mm -hmm. In the same shape, right? When Black has this uh, high double space appro uh, approach, White can play this gamer. Interesting. Yes, and then this attach also appeared in the game. Okay, let's go back. And uh, and then, uh, interesting idea by Black. Black played this move. So let's go now and uh, see what uh, Elf uh, sh shows us. So first move, uh, I don't think they are really important. Because we already reviewed in a base. So opening is pretty much standard. Many games with it. And at this point, uh -huh. white, uh, instead of splitting right side, which is biggest according to elf, and this is one of variations, you may press pause and study it. And uh, another option is here. Same idea, just to, to split, to reduce this uh, moya. Uh, however, we know that uh, this particular shape, it has a weakness in M3, so white decided to play here immediately. And uh, it is okay, then black definitely plays on the middle of the right side, which is huge. Aha, uh -huh. and now actually Elf is also showing this move, this gamer. Maybe I'm the only person who didn't know about this move, then it is funny. I have to study it in more detail. So uh, white played here, and then black played tanuki black take played on the top so at this point we can see that uh, it is 50 50 and i'm interested uh, what does elf think about the next move so next move was uh, jump and we can see that uh, it shows that uh, it is already 45 to 55 but it is normal because uh, we know that programs usually value uh, territory more than some undefined uh, moyos so and then next move was also interesting this approach so actually it is same as uh, if white uh, if black approaches and then white uh, plays this um, pincer then black jumps white jumps so it is kind of joseki um, and okay let me see in, in the base since it is a joseki if I'm not mistaken, top left corner, yes, it is a Joseki, many, many matches, almost 200. 
maybe AlphaGo here. Ah, okay. So we should find in 2000 something if there is AlphaGo. No, AlphaGo didn't play this stuff. Okay, I believe this is uh, fine art. Yes, so it was played naturally. And here it also was played naturally. And I believe in majority of these uh, games it was played naturally. Yeah. Ah, okay, here. Sato Yuta, Taguchi Misei, they also played because... Uh, wants to make a moyo. Okay, let's go back to, to the game. I will disable this and um, going back to core view. And now we chose that first move is shoulder hit with this variation. So I believe if you will study first five moves, five, seven moves, it is enough just for general direction of, of a play. Or another option would be Kema here, but in the game we can see that uh, Black invaded in the corner when it was a block towards this side. So this block shows that uh, definitely White wants to attack these two stones, otherwise White would uh, block towards C. So what is the difference percentage-wise? If White blocks towards this way, it gives 47% uh, to black. And if white plays here, it gives 63. Mm -hmm. So definitely, since white doesn't have any stones on the left side, it is not effective uh, to, 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 to play this, because black will be happy, and white stone here will be not effective and weak. So blocking uh, towards this side, then connecting, and uh, as we know from Meng Tai Link's lectures on AlphaGo Teach, uh, this move A is uh, better than uh, connection at B. So this is again the sequence, and now let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. This is pretty standard, then white plays here, so black cannot uh, protect in this cutting point at uh, d14, push and cut. And then black decides to push, and white plays this gamer. So this gamer really shows that white wants to attack with three stones, and is already attacking. And uh, what happened with... Uh, aha. So Elf thinks that it is better to connect underneath and uh, automatically these uh, free stones, they have no potential, they are super heavy. If, um, if Black will decide to run with them right now, it would be a very ba bad idea because White is already uh, settled on the top and connected. So... So what is another option? Aha, uh -huh. other option is from the game. Uh, if you are not familiar with this uh, tool, uh, blue blue color means that the percentage is above 50. For that player whose turn is to play now. So for example, now it is white's turn to play, and it shows that A and B are above 50% for white, but C is below 50%. So in the bottom you can see that it is 45 for white to play this game. And uh, white plays here and then black fights naturally. So this is normal move. And uh, white makes this exchange and cuts. Then black plays here. So kind of fighting. And now white is totally connected. And, but black can escape. So, on the contrary, if we will go, go back to this position, and instead of Kema, if white would play this Kema on the second line and connect, then we can see that uh, the only direction for black to run would be towards the center. And since black doesn't have any support in the center, it would be a bad idea right now in this timing. So, um, this is kind of big difference. Uh, 
comparing to what happened in the game. In the game, what I do not like for white is that uh, this stone uh, d14 here. Black may jump anytime. If this stone at b14 was white, it would be kind of perfect. White would have super big moyo. But uh, the proverb says that do not build a territory with open bottom. And this is open bottom. White cannot really make uh, use. And this uh, group, this black's group is too close to the Shimari. So it is almost settled. And uh, meaning that white will need another move to enclose this, uh, this bottom. And then black will have uh, time to reduce, to invade or to reduce. Uh, this Moya. So, yes, as I said, white jumps here and now black has time. So black decides to invade. Actually, interesting that elf shows that uh, black should uh, kick here first. Probably... Actually, without any thinking. Uh, I mean, I do not have any comments about this. But it shows 75% for black in this position. And with B it shows 72%. And with C it, is, it shows 71%. So black is ahead. And I was right with my evaluation of this ineffective thickness of white. It is thick, but it is slow. And uh, since white had to add a move here to, um, to enclose this bottom, um, black has time. And black invades in natural point so white kicks black extends and then white plays here white realizes that um, since uh, the bottom is still open for monkey jump uh, for white it is not effective to pincer the stone from c9 c8 d9 area uh, because in this case um, White is not making any points on the left side, we can say, and if black will uh, save his stones, then white will end up over-concentrated. So following the proverb that we are using a wall, not for building a territory, but to, for making a fight, uh, white is blocking um, this direction, so black will have to, to play on the left side. So white is already directing him, and meanwhile we can see that white is aiming to make some moyo on the bottom. Uh, black jumps and white covers. So I I don't like this kind of shapes. Double, uh, twice double jump, two space jump, double two space jump. I don't know how to say it correctly, but you understand what I mean. It is too thin. Uh, it is too thin for this moyo and it is too thin for attacking this group. So um, it is not effective move, I think. What does L think? So at this point, white had 30% and after this move, white has 23. So kind of 7% minus for this move. And uh, what would be a better uh, idea, better idea would be uh, locally, if we are talking about uh, continuing attacking this group, uh, it shows that it would be 28%, kind of 5% better than a two space jump, one space jump is more thick and uh, Elf likes it more. But first option it says to play Tenuki and to attach at 1, at Q4. Um, okay. Interesting. So again, uh, white is behind and white uh, needs to catch up with the points. We can see that black already destroyed uh, with this group if white cannot kill it. And with this jump, white definitely cannot kill this group. Um, we can say that so far, whole white thickness in the center is, is not doing any profit, is not making any profit kind of useless. Useless because black doesn't have a weak group nearby, so white cannot really use this thickness to attack something. 
So black exploits some weaknesses in the sh local shape and then gets uh, this in some sum. It is kind of standard uh, Joseki we can say. And then very wise move by Miyu Ding, I really appreciate it. He played with Kosumi. Uh, kind of emphasizing that black is leading, uh, emphasizing that black uh, succeeded in this Uchikomi on the left side. And uh, we can see now that it is 84% for, for black, according to Elf. So, when white attached, and uh, again, we can see that first option, uh, since black is uh, too much ahead, we can say, uh, Elf shows that the best option is to play simply, not to play complicated variation for black, just to protect the corner in playing free free. But uh, okay, second option to play with Hane. Uh, this uh, variation is a bit more complicated. And third option to play Hane from uh, from below. Maybe it thinks it is too passive to play here. But okay. So, in, in the real game, it was uh, Hane from outside, then extend, uh, and then this move. This move is kind of emphasizing uh, priority towards this right side. So, we can see black has uh, points in the top left, in the top, in the top right corner. Most likely, black will have some points also. Uh, also, this group is settled, so these are points as well. And then, black is emphasizing this kind of micro moyo here it is white open so white can invade but uh, white cannot destroy all points so black will make some points here for sure let's see what would happen if black will play this uh, i mean this move at uh, at some sum okay then white would invade uh, Yes, white or no. I can't really understand, is this alive for white on the right side or not? Some Something strange. Okay, whatever. So, black plays here and white cuts. It is normal, then black extends, white honey, and then it is kind of co-fight here. So this is a co-shape, black captures, white plays exchange, captures back, then Atari, extend, capture, then another co right on the top left, connect, then capture, extend, threatening to, to capture these stones in Geta, and white ignores, so black captures them, and then white plays some fancy move nearby the stones, and then black plays another fancy move, and this move I really like by black. So white still cannot uh, escape with these two stones because it will be a ladder. Um, so let me show you maybe if you are double digit cube player. So here if white will go, then black will play this Atari, then this Atari, then this Atari, and this is a ladder. Okay, so uh, white has to connect at A and then black has to capture, otherwise black will lose with free stones. So black captures and now interesting uh, that, white, uh, that black has these two stones inside this shape. So these two stones are kind of uh, extremely weak, but they they may be used as a directed sacrifice in order to reduce the potential of white on the bottom side and in the center. So let's see what happens. Actually, at this point, uh, Elf already shows 97% for black. If we we'll look at the graph, graph is kind of weird because from starting from move 91. Uh, Elf thinks that white should resign, and I, I will show you. For example, it is white's turn, and you can see Lila 0 would resign. But uh, 
uh, this gore view partner it thinks that it is lila zero but actually i put uh, elf weights inside so you can read that it is elf uh, would reside and then uh, so okay let's again let's uh, think um, it is not really important now to look at the percentage because uh, starting from this uh, move 90 something white had no chance in this game so again black is alive in top left black is settled on the left black is settled on the top side and on the right and uh, black also will make some points uh, in the top right or in the right side so the only hope for white is to to make whole center its points meaning that if black will leave with his group here game is over for white so let's take a look it is kind of desperate hunt for this black group white peeps here and then black attaches then white plays this move and then black plays here and then white starts doing something because it is kind of difficult for white to kill it and I suspect that this uh, strange move at f9 is also one of the reasons because it is not uh, super solid here. It is not. It, it is kind of thin. Black can use this, and black added this uh, perfect move, uh, Kosumi. So black is super solid and confident about uh, life and death status of his left side, um, especially since uh, this b14 is not blocked then this Kosumi for black in in case of fierce attack and trying to kill from inside uh, this Kosumi will be Sente so black is totally alive here and white wants to find something white wants to trick black we can say and uh, so far black plays with uh, good shapes uh, not thin but kind of thick shapes not super thick i do not mean heavy but uh, these shapes are kind of uh, vi vital moves so uh, with these shapes black is likely to make two eyes then white plays this move when black uh, finds this uh, opportunity to play here and then Hane and then jump again so I can say that black is already alive I'm not a life at death expert but uh, I don't believe mm, Miyutin can die with this group so when white continues to do something on the top and we can see that if white will succeed to cut out this black group somehow then this black group may die so white is exploiting edge edges and when black connects of course and wh white attaches here and uh, and then this Hane is really nice move it says that uh, I'm not afraid I'm leaving but uh, I see that you are desperate and uh, but uh, anyway uh, I won't give you easy time here so when black cuts here white uh, Atari extend and then this Hane is also nice so finally what happened here is uh, that uh, white uh, lift inside this corner and we can see that uh, black is super thick and then white has this really weak group really ugly and weak uh, group of five stones and then uh, okay this is kind of forcing move because uh, if white will ex uh, extend uh, I mean if white will sagari if black will tanuki and white will sagari white will simply capture these stones and it is huge because as I said this group is not yet alive locally so of course uh, black is asking here uh, is white going to give up all his stones and when white goes here black cuts so black is totally settled and white has these four stones ugly four stones uh, white survived inside this corner but black is super thick and then it is interesting what white tried to, to do white played this move kind of super desperate mode when black plays here and uh, and this move was also interesting 
because of a call at uh, t15. So white finally connected, but black doesn't uh, black doesn't need to worry. Black is already ahead. Black destroyed everything uh, that white wanted to build. So white cuts here, and then black just starts <coughs> reducing main moyo in the center. So, yes, uh, black just played this move, white attached, and then this uh, came. So, black is sure that this group is totally alive. Super thick group, uh, game over move. Uh, then some super beautiful moves, but not working. And then, still, as I said before, uh, that Kosumi at b11 was always center for black in order to leave, but since white played uh, here and blocked from black connecting his two groups, black needs to add a move here. So black is really careful, and uh, then white finally blocks uh, from this side, uh, and black goes down, uh, go, uh, captures this stone. So still, we can see that white won't have uh, many points in this center, so maybe 5-7 points, maybe 10, 7-10, but not more. Someone invites you to play. Okay, thank you. And then, uh, then it was some squeeze here, and black is totally connected everywhere, and alive on the bottom, which is more important. Yes, so... So what happened later? Nothing, just Yose. And uh, we can see that starting from move 90, uh, Elf wants to resign for White. So game was kind of hopeless, meaning that White uh, lost in Foseki. So uh, let's go back to, to this stage and... Aha, uh -huh, okay. So here it was kind of even. White was a bit ahead. Then let's let's find that place, or maybe I open the graph. So, uh huh. You can see that starting from this move, White had no chance. So it was move number twenty-seven. So we can say that White lost in twenty-seven moves. White lost this game uh, with this game. So instead, uh, as uh, Elf suggests, it, it would be better for White to play here. Okay, as I said, I will upload uh, in the description. You can find a doco RSGF file with a full review of this game by Elf, and you can study on your own. Thank you very much for attention and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.